Have you ever contemplated what life might be like on the moon? Picture this, a serene and tranquil existence away from the hustle and bustle of our terrestrial home, yet within sight of the blue marble that we call Earth. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? Welcome, fellow stargazers, to an exploration of the conceivable. Our topic today, lunar living. Over the next 15 minutes, we'll delve into the possibilities of moon colonies, the challenges we would face, and the remarkable advances that could make this galactic dream a reality. We'll envision our departure from Earth, explore the lunar landscape, discuss potential lunar habitats, and ponder on the lifestyle that could await us on this silver globe. So buckle up for an interstellar journey that will stretch your imagination to the cosmos and back. Ready? Dive with us on this cosmic journey from our blue planet to the silver globe. Imagine standing at the foot of a rocket ready to embark on the most extraordinary journey of your life. Your heart is pounding, adrenaline rushing through your veins. The countdown begins, 10, 9, 8. With every tick of the clock, the anticipation builds. Suddenly, with a deafening roar, the rocket's engines ignite. You're thrust back into your seat as the colossal force of the launch propels you skyward. The ground falls away beneath you, and within moments you're hurtling through the Earth's atmosphere at unimaginable speeds. The sensation is unlike anything you've ever experienced. The pressure, the noise, the sheer intensity of it all is overwhelming. But amidst the chaos, there's a strange sense of calm. You're leaving behind everything familiar, everything you've ever known. As you break free from the Earth's gravitational pull, the chaos subsides. The roar of the engines fades into a distant hum. The pressure eases. You're weightless, floating in the vast expanse of space. You turn to look out the window and there it is, our beautiful Earth, the only home we've ever known. But from this vantage point, it's just a tiny, glittering orb suspended in the void. Continents, oceans, and clouds swirl together in a breathtaking display of blues and greens. It's a sight that puts everything into perspective. And as you gaze upon our planet, you realize how small we really are. You see the fragility of our existence, the delicate balance that allows life to thrive. It's a humbling experience, one that fills you with a profound sense of awe and wonder. But there's no time to dwell on these thoughts, your journey is just beginning. Ahead lies the vast, uncharted wilderness of space, a realm of infinite possibilities, your destination, our closest celestial neighbor, the moon. As Earth becomes a tiny blue dot in the rear view, our destination looms large, the moon. This barren, alien world, so familiar yet so foreign, is about to become your new home. And as you hurtle toward it, you can't help but wonder, what if we can live on the moon? As the spaceship makes its descent, a barren yet beautiful landscape unfolds. A vista unlike any other, the lunar landscape is a world of contrasts. It is a stark, desolate wilderness devoid of life, yet it holds a captivating beauty that is breathtaking in its simplicity. Imagine a terrain that is dominated by a vast expanse of gray, covered in a fine layer of dust known as regolith. This dust is a result of billions of years of meteor impacts grinding the moon's surface into a fine powder. It clings to everything it touches, like an eternal reminder of the moon's violent past. The landscape is pockmarked with countless craters, the footprints of celestial bodies that have impacted the moon over the eons. Some are as small as a pebble, others are vast depressions that could swallow entire cities. Each one is a testament to the harsh environment of space, where even a small asteroid can wield the destructive power of a nuclear bomb. Rising out of this lunar desert are towering mountains, their peaks bathed in the harsh, unfiltered light of the sun. These lunar mountains, formed from the same violent impacts that created the craters, stand as silent sentinels, their jagged peaks casting long, stark shadows across the landscape. And yet, for all its rugged beauty, the lunar landscape is a place of profound silence. There is no atmosphere on the moon to carry sound, no wind to stir the dust, no water to carve valleys and canyons. The only sounds are those you bring with you, the hum of the spaceship, the crunch of boots on the lunar soil, the sound of your own breath in your helmet. 
This is a world untouched by the hand of time, a world that has remained largely unchanged for billions of years. It is a world of extremes, of harsh sunlight and freezing shadow, of silent desolation and stunning beauty. Stepping out onto the moon's surface, one can't help but marvel at the stark beauty and the profound silence. It is a landscape that demands respect, a landscape that reminds us of our place in the universe. But what would life be like? living on this seemingly inhospitable celestial body. Well, let's take a moment to step into the boots of a lunar dweller and explore the challenges that might face us. Firstly, we'd have to grapple with the moon's extreme temperatures. You see, the moon lacks an atmosphere, which on Earth acts as a sort of thermal blanket regulating our planet's temperatures. But on the moon, there's no such luxury. During the lunar day, temperatures can rocket to a scorching 123 degrees Celsius. And at night, they plummet to a bone-chilling negative 173 degrees. Talk about a climate change challenge on steroids. But temperature isn't the only hurdle. The moon is also notoriously dry. And no, I'm not talking about a lack of rainfall. I mean a literal lack of water. Scientists have found traces of water ice in permanently shadowed craters, but the amounts are minuscule. So, we'd have to find a way to either transport water from Earth or develop technology to extract and purify lunar water. Either way, it's not as simple as turning on a tap. And then there's the issue of the Moon's weak gravity, which is just one-sixth of Earth's. This could lead to long-term health problems like muscle atrophy and bone loss. We'd have to figure out ways to exercise and live in this low-gravity environment to maintain our health. Lastly, let's not forget the Moon's lack of breathable air. With virtually no oxygen, we'd need to have a constant supply of air shipped in from Earth or develop some sort of system to generate it on site. Living on the moon certainly wouldn't be a walk in the park. It would be a test of human ingenuity and resilience, a challenge unlike any we've faced before. Yet, despite these challenges, the dream of a lunar colony persists. And who knows, with our knack for overcoming obstacles and pushing boundaries, Lunar living just might become a reality sooner than we think. Imagine a domed city gleaming under the unfiltered sunlight nestled in a lunar crater. This isn't just a figment of science fiction, it's a potential reality. A glimpse into our future as a spacefaring species. In the heart of this city, a moon base, a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. Powered by the very star that lights our earthly days, this base is a beacon of sustainable living in the harshest of environments. Solar panels sprawling across the lunar surface harness the unimpeded solar energy, providing power for the entire base. Within the base, life support systems, as vital as the heartbeat to a human body, hum with ceaseless activity. These systems recycle air and water, creating a closed loop that mimics Earth's own life-sustaining cycles. It's a miniature Earth, a self-contained biosphere, thriving under the dome. And what of the inhabitants of this lunar colony? Humans like you and me, but adapted, evolved to meet the challenges of living on the moon. Their bodies may change, adapting to the lower gravity, their lifestyles certainly will. But the spirit, the indomitable human spirit, will remain. Lunar agriculture, a concept that sounds alien now, would become a reality. Hydroponics and aeroponics would be the new norm, providing fresh food for the moon dwellers. It would be a life of innovation, of constant adaptation and learning, a life unlike any we've known. And let's not forget the view. Imagine looking up at the night sky from the moon, the Earth, our beautiful blue home, hanging in the black expanse surrounded by a tapestry of stars, a sight that could give one a whole new perspective on life. In this domed oasis, humans could carve out a life, a life under a star-studded sky. Living on the moon would not just be about survival, but also about discovery and exploration. Imagine a life where your daily routine is a blend of groundbreaking work, leisure activities with a lunar twist, and experiences that are truly out of this world. The work life on the moon would be unlike anything we're used to here on Earth. For one, the lunar day lasts for 28 Earth days, so forget about the 9 to 5 grind. You might find yourself involved in lunar mining operations, extracting valuable resources like helium-3 that could power our future civilizations. Or perhaps you'd be a lunar scientist, conducting research in an environment that offers a whole new perspective on the universe. But it's not all work and no play. Leisure time on the moon would be an adventure in itself. 
Imagine playing a game of soccer where you can leap six times higher than on Earth, or going on a hike to explore the moon's breathtaking craters and mountains. Even the simplest activities like watching an Earth rise from the lunar surface would be experiences to cherish. And then there are the unique experiences that only life on the moon can offer. Picture a world where you witness 14 Earth days of daylight followed by 14 days of night. Or imagine the thrill of gazing at the stars from a place where the sky is always black even during the day and the stars shine with an intensity that's hard to fathom from Earth. Living on the moon would also mean becoming a lunar pioneer, part of a community that's pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and experience. It's a lifestyle that would demand adaptability, resilience, and a spirit of exploration. And every day would bring the possibility of new discoveries, of learning something about the universe that no one on Earth has ever known before. A lunar life is a life of discovery, a life of pushing boundaries. It's a life that would redefine our understanding of what it means to be human and what we're capable of achieving. As our lunar sojourn comes to an end, it's time to return to our home planet. We bid farewell to the stark silver landscapes of the moon, stepping back into our spacecraft, strapping in and preparing for the journey back to Earth. The launch is a mirror image of our arrival. The engines roar to life, the ground falls away, and we're once again enveloped in the silence and weightlessness of space. We watch as the moon, our temporary home, recedes into the distance becoming just another celestial body in the vast expanse of the universe. As we traverse the void between the moon and Earth, there's time to reflect on our lunar experience. We've walked on alien soil, breathed recycled air, and gazed upon Earth from a perspective few have been privileged to see. Living on the moon, even for a short time, has given us a unique perspective on our place in the cosmos. We think about the technology that made our journey possible, the courage of the pioneers who dared to dream of lunar living, and the potential for future generations to build on our accomplishments. We've proven that humans can survive and even thrive in the harsh lunar environment. We've pushed the boundaries of what's possible, and in doing so, we've opened up new opportunities for exploration and discovery. This lunar adventure has given us more than just a glimpse of the future. It's given us a vision of a new frontier, a frontier where humans aren't confined to one planet, but can venture out, explore, and perhaps even colonize other worlds. As we approach Earth, the familiar blue marble grows larger in the spaceship window. We're returning home, but we're not the same as when we left. We carry with us not just memories of our lunar sojourn, but also a sense of accomplishment, a sense of wonder, and a sense of hope for the future. As the blue marble grows larger in the spaceship window, we carry with us not just memories, but a vision of a new frontier. So, what if we could live on the moon? It's not just a question of technology, but of human spirit. This simple yet profound query has guided our journey through this thought-provoking exploration. We started off by imagining the departure from our home planet Earth where we've thrived for millions of years to embark on a voyage to our nearest celestial neighbor. The lunar landscape, devoid of familiar sights and sounds, might initially seem intimidating. But just as humans have adapted to diverse environments on Earth, we have the capacity to make the moon our home. We envisioned lunar living, where we'd have to rely on advanced technology and innovative solutions to meet our basic needs. We'd need to harness solar power for energy and lunar soil or regolith for building materials and perhaps even for growing food. The concept of a moon base, a self-sustaining habitat, is not just a figment of science fiction. It's a possibility that scientists and engineers around the globe are actively working towards. This moon base would not only be a home for humans, but also a hub for scientific research and a stepping stone for further space exploration. Our journey then took us to the lunar lifestyle, a new way of life that would challenge our physical and psychological limits. We'd experience a gravity, just one-sixth of Earth's witness Earth rises and Earth sets, and adapt to a day-night cycle significantly different from what we're used to. The return journey to Earth, however, serves as a reminder that the Moon is not a destination, but a gateway. It's a stepping stone to Mars and beyond. It's a testament to our innate curiosity and our unyielding desire to explore and colonize new frontiers. As we stand on the brink of a new era, the question is not if we will live on the Moon, but when. 
The moon, our silent companion in the night sky, beckons us, and perhaps sooner than we think we might just call it home. 